Hey everybody, it's Alexander A. Manzoni, and we're going to do a new poem. This is called Terror Babies. We don't need no terror babies. We don't need no new Pink Floyd songs. What the Isis Bride did was wrong, beyond rationality. You don't abandon your country to join up with the enemy. Not the failing New York Times, but the Islamic State. You thought it would be so great until your world came tumbling around you. Now, what to do? Your way home has been barred by William Barr and the Trump Master General. Now, what will you call your own? Even if you did sneak back, it obviously wouldn't be safe. There are legions of angry fuckers who'd like a crack at her in more ways than one. So, you're better off handing her over to Africa to meet up with the super cool woman-respecting folks over at Al-Shabaab. Oh, American terror princess, you should have kept your mouth shut and your burqa up and stayed the hell out of the Syrian war zone. Now, you're indelibly alone. What country is going to want you, as you are a known traitor that would have been captured and put to death without much thought in another age? Though I am not suggesting that those ages were, in fact, preferable. What are we able to make of this? Sure, she's young, too young to have fully realized the implications of this decision. Though I doubt she felt much love while she resided in Alabama. I would have been itching to get out as well. But there are other ways. Ways that would not have created an international news story. You want to come home, you say. You see what they did to the Covington boy. His existence re reduced to memes about the scope of his grinning visage. Where could you go in America that would be safe to raise your terror baby? Don't come to us crying. You denied us in the West and shall be denied in turn. Did you really think the Islamic State would triumph? Now they have to go back underground until they find a new place to oppress and set up shop. Bodies dropping everywhere in Syria. The country is now a smoking crater. What would Assad do to you if captured? Would it be worse than what the citizens of Alabama could be capable of? You should have risen beyond your own disgust and hatred of the imperialist devils. Tried to generate awareness. You could have been a poetess. Now your name is synonymous with treachery. If you thought your life couldn't get any worse, Hoda, it just did. How will you care and raise your terror babies? Your terror family? Baby's first AK, baby's first roadside bomb, baby's first Koran, baby's first hijab, baby's first prayer rug, baby's first taste of infidel blood. Will this baby and all that follow ever know true love? Or will their true love be the extremist ideology? Indoctrinated with jihadi philosophy, what possibility is there that this child shall ever lead a reasonably normal life. The ocean of strife is endless.